All right, Savannah, about to get a lot of rock and roll this weekend, but one man in Chatham County has been rocking and rolling for decades. Yeah, the Bo Bloomingdale resident has made guitars for some of music's biggest stars. And tonight, WJCL's Frank, the big guy, Solkowski, introduces us and takes us off the beaten path. Alone in his Bloomingdale workshop, among the unfinished guitars, banjos and mandolins and various tools, Randy Wood is making music, or at least the instruments that will soon be making music. Music pretty much is my life. Like a surgeon, Wood's eyes and hands, the most important pieces of equipment, you're looking at a master craftsman whose handcrafted instruments have found their way into thousands of musicians' hands, including music royalty like Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash and Eric Clapton. Well, it's always it's always a, a real satisfying feeling to to see one of your instruments being played, uh, and I still enjoy it. I, uh, the instruments I build today, you know, I I would I'd get a, a big kick out of uh, out of seeing them played. Wood has built a little music mecca just off Highway 80 in Bloomingdale. Not only does he craft, repair, and sell guitars and other instruments from his shop, the property also includes the Pickin' Parlor Concert Hall, where top bluegrass musicians from around the country come to play for music fans from far and wide. Friends of mine from Nashville and other places that were traveling through the area, musicians, uh, kept talking about they wish there was a place they could play here in town, so... We, did, we opened up the concert hall, and it's just one of those things that's uh, kind of a hobby that keeps getting out of hand. Music has been Randy Wood's life, a love affair that can be seen in each instrument he creates and heard in each conversation he has with the next generation of musicians. We probably spend almost half of our uh, time in the retail store trying to educate people uh, about what to look for in a musical instrument, even if they don't buy it from us. We try to explain to them about the action, uh, you know, uh, so that they don't go buy something that they can't play.